if you want to be really efficient when you're recording vocals or an instrument, punch in and punch out are gonna be your best friends. Let me show you. So I'm gonna record some vocals to this loop and I've set up a key command to record. So in my case, I just have to hit the equal sign on my keyboard to start recording. So it's just playing, I hit my key and I'm recording. I hit it again and it stops. If you wanna set up a key command for recording as well, go to edit, then all the way down to key commands, search for record, and then in this area, click and type the key that you wanna use. And that's it. But sometimes even hitting one key can kind of get you out of your zone, right? So that's when punch in and punch out come into play. What is punch in? Let's say I want to start recording here. So now I hold option or alt and I click and now my range starts here. If I now activate punch in by hitting I on my keyboard or clicking this little button here. So now it's deactivated and now it's on again. Then it's going to start recording when we pass this point here during playback. So don't forget to arm your track that you want to record on, make sure this is red, and also make sure that your cycle is off. So you can do that by clicking here when you see the hand, or in the transport panel over here. So let's just hit play with punch in activated. It's going to start recording there, and now it's just going to keep on going even past the end of our range. Okay, different situation. Let's say I've recorded this. I said it goes one, two, two, four, five. Oh no, I seem to have made a mistake. I must correct it at once. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna grab my range tool, this one here, and I'm gonna select the part that I'm gonna replace. So I said one, two, two, four, five. So this second two is gonna have to get replaced. Side note, you can also set the end of your range by holding command or control and click, just like you can set the beginning by holding option or alt and click. Then make sure you activate both punch in and punch out by hitting I and O on your keyboard or by clicking both of these buttons here. And now I can just hit play again and then I'll punch in the word three where I mistakenly said two. I can sing the whole thing now or just the word three because it's only going to record within the range that we set anyway. So all I have to do now is hit play. It goes one, two, three, four, five. So now we fixed it. Said it goes one, two, three, four, five. Lastly, you can also adjust some preferences. So go to settings, record, and then you can choose deactivate punch in on stop or stop after automatic punch out. Depends on how you wanna work. Little recap. So I hope this helped. If it did, please like the video and also subscribe and have fun making music.